Hi, I'm Rob from Ski Press, and I'm here at the Ski and Snowboard Show in Earl's Court to check out what's going on this week. I've come along to the British Association of Snow Sports Instructors, otherwise known as BASI, to see what's going on, and I'm here with Roz and Becky. Hi, Roz. How's it going? I'm all right, Rob. Yeah, how's you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. So, uh, what's new at BASI this year? Is there anything exciting happening? Well, we've just changed the structure of the Level 3 and Level 4 technical course. That's now been split into two one-week courses as opposed to a full 10-day course. So what we've introduced is a new technical performance training week that members can book as often as they like and their trainer will assess and advise whether they're ready to book onto the assessment week. So that's, that's one major big difference. So Bayesley as an organisation is growing quite considerably in the last sort of five to ten years. What would you put that down to mostly? Well, it's a mixture and a combination of things. A lot of people are doing career switches, but the, the predominant jump is in the Bayesley Level 1 courses. It's, it's more accessible now to the public and it, you can do it in the UK or in Europe and that qualifies you to work in a controlled environment. So that seems to appeal a great deal to the public now. Do most people that start a career path with Bayesley do they, do they take that further or do they tend to stop at level two and then do a little bit of teaching part time? How, does, how do most people go forward from their level two qualification? Yeah, predominantly a lot of them will just remain as level two and work part time and pick up another career that went out of season. There is a percentage of them that do progress on to do their level three and four, but that's it's a small percentage. So in terms of people's personal performance, would you say that going on a basic course could be something that you could do to improve your skiing as well as getting a ski instructor's qualification? Absolutely. A lot of mature clients now are booking a Basie Level 1 purely to improve their skiing techniques as opposed to doing it to get an instructor qualification because what they're finding is that one week's course is improving their skiing dramatically. And Becky, hi. Becky. Hi. How are you? Very right. well, thank you. Good. You're a, you're a Bayesley trainer, which yes. means that you, you coach other ski instructors, is that right? Absolutely, yes. And how long have you been a Bayesley trainer for? Do you know, more years than I can remember. Okay. Uh, over, ten, over 10 years. Over 10 years. Yeah. And, and in that time, do you, do you find that um, the, 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 the structure of Bayesley has improved during the last 10 years? And, and for you as a trainer, has is it, is it helped you to increase uh, what, what you do with the, with the pupils? Hugely. Every year that you do a job, you learn more about the job. And as an organisation, as the group of trainers, we're constantly trying to find ways that students will have bigger success. So we're constantly trying to find ways to help people that will get them to the goals they want to as easily and quickly as possible. And that has, mean that we've, has meant that we've changed structures. And do you teach skiing, normal skiing yourself, in terms of uh, your, your own clients? Yeah, that's my day job. I'm a ski instructor. I run a ski school in Morzine, which is in the Port de Soleil. So to, to train instructors, you really need to be current with teaching people to ski. And it, it's got to be a full-time job, I think. In terms of actually uh, a career as a ski instructor, I mean, what would you say to someone that was maybe quite young, and maybe considering what they were going to do after university or even before university. I mean, would you say that going into ski instruction is a really good career move? It's a really viable choice these days. When I started working as a ski instructor very many years ago, it was very much a leisure choice. You know, you were considered a ski bum if you decided to go off and be a ski instructor. Um, but these days it is a viable career choice. It's a difficult qualification to get at the very highest level. And if you want to work all over the world and where the highest wages are, you need to go all the way through to the very end. You need to then also offset your seasons working. So we have some instructors in our team who will work in the Southern Hemisphere in the summer and they'll come and do European winters. And other ski instructors have completely different trades that they do in the summer. So they could work as builders or carpenters or electricians, all sorts of manner of things. But you, will, you might need to consider two different seasons to work in, to work as a right. career ski instructor. And, and what's the best thing about being a ski instructor, would you say? It, it, going skiing. Right. It's why we all started it in the first place. And for some of us, we've been lucky enough to stay in the industry one way or the other. But to have a job where you get to go skiing every day, it's got to be a dream.
What's your favorite resort? I mean, I know you, you're based in Megève, but I mean, have you got any other favorites as, apart from Megève? Well, Morzine, Port du Soleil, rather than Megève. Sorry, Morzine. You're based in Morzine, yeah. not Megève. Right. And I, I okay. did base myself there because it was a resort that I absolutely loved. But I've recently visited an Austrian resort called Kutai, and for now, it's my new favorite. Right. Fantastic. Okay, well, thank you, Roz. Thank you, Becky. You're welcome. It's been great. Thank you.